All right, guys, next month we have a brand new screen movie coming out. And like I did recently with Halloween Ends, uh, I want to give you five signs of promise and five potential problems. So in this video, we're going to talk about five signs of promise for Scream 2022. Let's go. What's up, guys? Scream is fastly approaching. Um, everybody's excited. I swear, I, it seems like Scream in the horror community, it seems like it never dies. It seems like it's bigger than ever. Uh, and I think everybody's really excited for this movie. So we're going to start off with the good stuff and talk about five uh, signs of promise for this movie. So let's just dive right in and be sure to stay tuned for five potential problems because there could be problems too. So that'll be in the next video. Okay, so the first sign of promise is, you know, the original cast is coming back. So I'm hoping we get a big surprise with the original cast. You know, th that surprise could be anything. It could be that one of them dies. It could be that one of them is the killer. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can go with this, but I want them to definitely capitalize on bringing uh, Sidney Gale and Dewey back. You know, don't just bring them back and you know i guess have them all live which they'll probably do that anyway uh but but just you know capitalize i guess that's what i'm trying to say capitalize on that original cast give us some nice surprises if you want to make uh dewey the killer freaking go for it but just do it in a way to where we're surprised by it and there's enough evidence to support it hell you can make sydney the killer if you want to that'd be kind of badass actually right guys As a matter of fact post in the comments would that piss you off <laughs> okay, next sign of promise, new blood. We got a new young cast. There's a lot of people in this movie, actually. Uh, a lot of potential uh, for some great kills. Um, and, you know, just seeing how this whole thing unfolds, I would like them to really kind of rebuild from a, from a uh, character standpoint like they did in the original. And, hell, maybe they kill off all of the original three or, or have them, like, you know, walk off into the sunset, I don't know, and maybe set this thing up for some new characters that uh, people can really get behind for the future. You know, with this particular category, you could go in 10 different ways with it, you know, but I think it's a big sign of promise that we got a fresh, new, young cast. And we get that with all the other movies, but it seems like the same core characters always return, you know? So it'd be kind of cool to have some new characters uh, a, become extremely important, and B, live on for future movies. Next sign of promise, and this can be a little controversial, is we have new directors, you know, and we've never had a new director behind the camera for any of the Scream movies. It's always been Wes Craven. So I'm really curious to see what really just any new director can do with Scream. Um, I mean, I guess you could say that we had different directors for the TV series, but that doesn't really count because it's like a TV budget, it looks like a TV series. So this is the movies, this is cinematic. But Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillette, they uh, were behind the camera for Ready or Not with Samara Weaving. And that was really, really fun. So if they can kind of capture that vibe in this movie, which I'm pretty sure they will, you know, the screen movies are fun. There's a lot of like dark comedy in these. And uh, I think they're perfect, uh, a perfect pick behind the camera for this movie. Which leads me to my fourth sign of promise uh, and what Scream is known for, twists. Um, in every movie in the franchise, they have their own unique twist. Uh, most of them have two killers. So I'm kind of hoping they go for broke with uh, this new one and maybe give us a twist that we're not expecting. I mean, that is, that's why it's called a twist, but give us something that we're really, really not expecting. Um, make it a thousand kill. I don't know. Don't make it a thousand killers. Don't do that. But um, come at us at a, a, a different angle here. Maybe give us something we, have, we hadn't thought of. And if you want to do the one killer thing, that's cool too. I don't know. I'm glad I'm not the guy writing the script because it's tough in these movies to uh, come up with a great twist that can live up to the, the ones before. You know, you feel like you always have to top yourself with these twists. So uh, I'm really curious to see what they come up with. And my fifth sign of promise is just the atmosphere of this this movie just from the trailer it looks like a darker edgier scream if you compare the look of this movie to the look of the previous four and those do look pretty modern there's something um a little bit more atmospheric about the way this one looks um and maybe that's because you have different you know a different crew 
There just looks like a lot of depth to the frame. It looks spookier. And that's one thing about Scream that I've always wanted them to kind of up a notch because Scream movies are really fun, right? But they're not scary. Uh, hell, even Ghostface is not a creative killer for the most part. He usually kills with just a knife. Um, so I'm hoping that they can actually maybe scare us in this movie. They did in the first Scream, to be fair, you know, with that opening with Drew Barrymore. That's a very effective and scary scene. So that's just proof that it can be done in a movie like this. So I'm hoping that this one ups the ante in terms of scares. And it looks like there's a good chance of that just by the cinematography alone. But anyway, guys, that's my five signs of promise. Be sure to stay tuned for my five potential problems. I think there are potential problems that we want to look out for. All right. But uh, I tell you, the marketing's not. I think the marketing has been on point. We had one great trailer. I don't want any more trailers. Uh, I think it's perfect the way it is. And uh, I'm looking forward to next month. I'm a Scream fan, right? Hell yeah, it's going to be fun. So anyway, guys, are you excited? Let me know down in the comments. Looking forward to hearing them. Uh, also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free for Fridays. Follow my drum drums on my social. Support me on Patreon and buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and drum them out.